At the Go Diving Show this year, I had the luck to be able to catch up with Liz Parkinson. Liz is well known in the diving industry thanks to her work as both a shark conservationist, a Hollywood stunt performer, a dive instructor and water safety officer working on films such as the Fast and the Furious franchise, the Thai Cave Rescue, Black Panther and the new Avatar The Way of Water. I managed to catch her right before one of her presentations on the big stage at the Go Diving Show. So what's your main subject of the talk on your the big stage of the Go Diving Show this year? About? Uh, so my main uh, subject here at the dive show is underwater stunts, um, but I'm also touching on shark conservation and diving with sharks and how that got me into the film industry. Cool. Now we're definitely seeing more and more of the underwater world in Hollywood, whether it be like here on Earth or on Pandora. Um, do you see this trend going to continue on uh, in the future in Hollywood? Um, I would love to see in Hollywood a lot more underwater stuff. I feel like, especially on some of the productions that I've worked on, um, underwater really adds a dimension to a film. And typically, um, it's the first thing that's cut or it's the first thing that's edited out of a film, which is a shame. But because of the water work that's happened, especially this last year, there's been a ton of underwater work. Not just the stuff that's happened on the surface, but more so the stuff that happens underwater. I really hope that this sets the trend and uh, we start seeing more of that underwater um, water work happening on film and television. So do you find that you have to rein in the director for a more realistic expectation of what you and other cast can perform? Or are they quite good at deferring to your expertise? Um, so working with specific directors, typically we find that most of them have a very high education on what it takes to be in the water. If they don't, they have people there that work with them so that they can hone in on specifics that they want, either be it a fight scene, um, a car crash, uh, just simply swimming underwater. Um, I've been very fortunate to work with some amazing directors who in the event they're unsure or they ask your opinion. I mean, I've done this for a long time and the people that I work with have done it for a long time. Um, so I find that it depends who the director is, but for the most part, they're pretty open-minded about what they are looking for, what they would like. And uh, mostly if you have a suggestion that's uh, sort of worthwhile, then um, I, I, yes, I've been fortunate to work with people who are accepting of that information. Cool. Now, what is Loki? Loki, L-O-C-I. Loki is a, a company, a shoe company, that was um, formulated a couple years ago. It's uh, a shoe company that makes products purely from ocean plastics. And they make shoes that are vegan. So there's no animal product in any kind of glue, stitching, material that's used for the shoes. And I was picked up as an ambassador for them about three years ago and uh, they're an amazingly comfortable shoe. They are good for the environment, they have a great message, and I'm super stoked to be a part of that ambassador program. Okay, now with the Aqualung being created in 1943, that's 80 years ago now, if you could, would you rather go 80 years back into the past and experience what diving was like back then, or 80 years into the future and see what it's going to be like? Wow, the, the history and the future of diving. Oh, that's a really interesting question. Um, I've never been asked that before. You know, when I worked on the Cousteau films, I got the opportunity to be in front of camera and I got to wear the gear that the guys wore sort of in the very beginning when Cousteau invented um, his regulator and uh, his, his BCD and the wetsuits and the, the gear that they wore. It was quite cumbersome and it was quite a wet breathe. I remember always having to lean forward and the buoyancy was off. So I think 18 years from now, I hope someone's figured out how to make a tank lighter. I think that would be a really good starting point. So I know what it's like to dive in the gear from the past. So I'm gonna say that I'd prefer to, um, right now, if I could see what's happening in 18 years, I'd go for that. Uh, and finally, where can people find you online and follow some of the amazing things that you do? Uh, yeah, cool. So social media obviously is a huge platform. So my Instagram at Liz Parkinson one is a really good place to find me. Um, I'm pretty good on staying on top of that. And I get a lot of kids and interest through the photos that I post. Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty standard these days. So that's where you can find me.